Tis the season. Our roads are full of all of these delivery drivers getting packages to our homes. A lot of traffic, lots going on, lots of places to go. But what happens if, God forbid, we get into a crash, us or a loved one, um, with one of those commercial vehicles? It's a little bit different than just getting into a crash with a normal person. Um, we've got Tom Simus. He's from Simus Dramus Law Firm talking about um, crashes involving commercial vehicles. Tom, tell us about the difference there for us. Well, in some senses, you think, OK, well, it's it's two cars or a car and a truck. And so is it the same as if you were involved in a regular car crash? And the answer, of course, is, is no. It's, it's very different for a number of reasons, but probably a couple of the most important is that, first of all, the, the potential in entities and individuals who may be liable in a crash involving a commercial vehicle are very different than what you would commonly encounter in your normal car crash, where the most obvious person responsible there would be the person who caused the crash. When you're dealing with commercial commercial vehicles, there's not only, of course, that potential driver, but there are a whole host of other entities that may have liability as well. Secondly, when you're dealing with commercial motor vehicles, we have a very specific set of federal regulations that have also been adopted in Michigan that apply to commercial motor vehicles that are different than the general rules of the road that apply to cars. So even though on, it, on its face, it may seem the same, uh, beyond that, pretty much every aspect of these type of crashes are very different than what you would commonly expect in your sort of garden variety car crash. Okay, so tell us about a defendants in this kind of a case. How, how does that work? So you, you, you start the most obvious, right, the, the driver, but then the question becomes, all right, who else is responsible for the driver's conduct? And this is a concept that we in, in law sometimes call vicarious liability. The idea that there is another entity responsible for the acts of one particular person. The most common kind of vicarious liability that we have is employee and employer. So if an employee commits an act of negligence, the general rule of vicarious liability is that the employer is responsible for the employee's acts if the employee was acting in the course of their employment. So that, of course, is different than what you would encounter in a typical car crash. But you can have other forms of vicarious liability. Another kind is what we call owner liability. So the owner of the semi-truck, for example, if it's a semi-truck, may have owner liability, but you may also have this vicarious liability concept that extends from the driver or the motor carrier to other entities that may not be so apparent when you just look at the facts of the crash. So unlike a car crash, which maybe in some sense starts and ends with that other driver, in a commercial motor vehicle crash, it maybe starts with the other driver and it extends to a whole host of other potential entities who may have liability to the person who's injured. And as we're talking about that injured person, why is it important for them to know that there could be all of these potential defendants in this case? Well, for the very practical reason that the more defendants that there are, the more potential insurance entity issues there are. In other words, the more potential insurance coverage there may be, or the more different insurance carriers may be involved. Typically, when you think of a car crash, you think of the insurance um, in, involved there being the one that covers the other driver. Well, when you have other entities who may have liability for one of these types of theories, you have a whole different host of other insurance companies who may be liable as well. And that, of course, can really matter when you're talking particularly about catastrophic injuries where the damages, the harms are very significant. And now in Michigan, with the changes to our auto no fault law, we have people who no longer have access to lifetime medical care for their injuries. And so therefore, the extent and scope of different insurance coverage really matters and really needs to be understood in these cases. Absolutely. Yeah. People need to know that what their rights are. And that's, that's a pretty scary situation to be in. So if people want more information, what do they need to know from you? Well, they can find us online anywhere at www.sinusdramus.com. You can shoot us an email at info at sinusdramus.com or give us a call at 616-301-3333.